Okay, I'm coming on here to show the Dollar General run that I made yesterday to take advantage. Yesterday was Saturday, October 19th, 2024, to take advantage of the $5 off coupon of the $25 and more. Everything that I'm fixing to show you here is a dollar except for those two and and I paid a dollar and a quarter for each of those simply because I like those better and I was trying to make sure I had the $25 quota so let's run down through what I have I love the little air fresheners no one else has to but me and my mom like to use them they were a dollar so I got four of those again dollar and a quarter dollar and a quarter Everything else was a dollar. So I got two more cans of soup. I got a couple things of awesome bathroom cleaner and the daily shower. I like these handy dandy things because it's got Q-tips. It's got cotton swabs. And it's got these other little cotton things, cotton pads, cotton balls, cotton swabs, all of it. Then, and then once you've used that, you have a handy dandy little container that's good for matches and stuff. Some cleaning supplies, some more of these all purpose cleaning wipes. I, if any of y'all had watched me before, a couple friends of mine had gotten together and we had bought. A fairly good load of things to go up to North Carolina and it already has so this is kind of getting ready for the next unknown uncertainty disaster or whatever so I got two of those and a lot of this I bought it thinking of that in mind here's some soap pads some more flushable wipes again I've gotten where I buy the anti-itch or the cortisone cream almost every time the diphenhydramine I don't know what besides my unfortunate skin issues that I had last year that I was told I would have them forever and have to have shots for a few years and I flat refused after I got my two shots in my stomach and some of these scrubbies and then over here I just saw these in the dollar aisle and I liked them. Not even just for children, but they're reusable plastics. A nice good portion size kind of thing, which is very handy. Once we get into a situation that things do go really bad, really badly, whether it be from a natural disaster, like is happening up in um, North Carolina and parts of North Tennessee and, well, you know, North Georgia, parts of South Carolina, I think a little bit of West Virginia, for those kind of things. Yes, the paper products are very nice and convenient because you can just use them and throw them away, but where they become inconvenient is after a while, you've got so much trash and garbage, and it's actually going to draw attention to you if you go to burn it, and so, anyhow... I chose to buy just two of these to go in my little, well, I'll even use them here at the house, but in a to-go situation, or I'll give them to somebody. And then, while I was standing in line, this was enough for the twenty, uh, the $5 off thing, but the manager come through and was talking, I think, to me, but yet to the cashier, and she was asking him, or saying something to him, Hey, you didn't sell the rest of those coolers that were only 90 cent. Well, that's well, that was enough said. So I said, what coolers are you talking about? So the manager went over there and showed me. This is what they're calling coolers. It's calling fridge pack. These are so adorable. They were re regularly $6. They were marked down to 90 cent yesterday. They were already marked down less than half price so 90 cent each and they had five left 
Normally, I never, ever buy the last of anything, but she kind of encouraged me to. She said, no, I know what you do with your stuff. Go ahead and take them. <clears throat> you can give them away. They can be used for gifts or whatever. Small insulated bags. So that is just adorable. And yes, they will all be given out. So here, all of this right here. That alone would have been $30 without the markdown or before even the markdown. So with all of this, drum roll, please. Okay, then with my $5 off and the sales, total is $26.46 for all of this. I think that's a good deal. That's just me. Now, I'm going to do scripture alert. <clears throat> yeah, I got my yahoos out there on the porch. They wanted to go out there. I'm going to read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 14. I like that entire chapter, but beginning in verse 14. Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, Hmm, don't say a word. None of y'all, not one word. Comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Quench not the spirit. Despise not prophesyings. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Abstain from the appearance, from all appearance of evil. And the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray Pray, God, your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Faithful is he that calleth you, who also will do it. Brethren, pray for us. Greet all the brethren with an holy kiss. I charge you by the Lord that this epistle be read unto all the holy brethren. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. And that prove all things. That means test. We live in a world you cannot just trust everyone that says, trust me, trust me, you can trust me. I beg your pardon, don't even trust me, people. Trust the Bible. Trust the Word of God. Trust your instincts. Trust that, hopefully that voice inside of you, that your conscience, your brain, whatever you're saying that'll sort of warn you, no, don't do that, don't say that. Trust that. Learn to trust that. Learn to take back your own common sense and get you some goods put back because we are going into a rough time, and I'm not even talking about the SHTF. I really am not. Things are getting higher priced and higher priced, almost daily, sometimes even within the day. Do what you can do. Get prepared and begin with your soul. God loves you. He loves you so much he gave his son, Jesus. And Jesus loves you so much he gave his life. If you can't trust someone who gave his life, laid his own life down for you, and came down from heaven, to do so, then who else can you trust? <clears throat> Love you guys. Have a blessed weekend. Take care of yourselves. Think of others. Think of others even as you get opportunities that someone offers you something, whether it be food or whatever. Let's stop maybe saying, oh, I don't need that. Maybe think of someone else. Think of Susie down the road or that... that um, Disabled veteran, John, you know, I'm making up names. Think of those people and surprise them. Just sometimes just to be surprised with something, even something like this, 90 cent. Someone is going to be very happy.
Let me show you the. <clears throat> I mean, it's a little insulated cooler bag. Isn't that adorable? Anyway, love you guys. Take care. Bye.